2013 Toyota RAV4 and uh, door actuators they went bad on me uh, this is uh, my own truck and uh, they're not cheap guys this is the the old one and they're not cheap they're uh, a good price probably 250 for each one is the whole assembly as you can see you got to remove these three torques and uh, I take this plastic off there stick my hand in there put the wirings and the the door latch um, you got to remove this uh, 10 millimeter bolt it's a bracket there you hold it down it doesn't hold down the the motor but it hold down the the guy for the window and uh, he don't let you pull it out and, until you take this bolt out now I'm gonna install back the this guy and I wanna make sure the green one is to open and this one is to lock and unlock so my lock and unlock goes in the in the top one which is the white one and see if I can get it here guys my white one yeah that's my so you gotta get it here and then get this one down here if you can see that in the video right there I got my head cam and uh, this goes through here you gotta slide it in in the top first no other thing but, oh there it goes they got a okay you lock it in the and the make sure the wire is not in the way okay then you got your clips that you gotta align though because if you don't align it you can break it make sure they're in the hole stick my fingers on it make sure it's in there they're in the hole then this guy let me put the bolt first let me get the bolts I use these tools to uh, take the trim off so now this thing here you gotta remove it though and there is clip here and I use that uh, tool to take it out so I don't break it
I like this tool made by Snap-on. Got a long time ago. You see the groove and the tip here. They uh, is magnet also. So. This little cover guys, see the clips and the other clips goes here covering that bolt there. Okay. And then this guy with this guy and they go Like that. It's not necessary to take this out. You can pick up this thing and disconnect the wires. But uh, it's a good tip when you're gonna replace the switch. How to do it? Now, this here, you put it here first, and then click it in. And that should be it. This here is the terminal for here. And they just click in there. And that's it guys. Now, to make sure this is working, close all the doors, Toyotas. locked unlock it I said it's working guys so not cheap guys but um, I gotta change another one and the driver's door because this one went first and then the another one went after that like a light bulb All right, guys, thank you for watching. Okay, so I'm working on my Toyota RAV4, and uh, what I'm gonna do, starting from scratch, I'm gonna change this door actuator. It comes in one unit. Uh, I did the passenger side yesterday. Now I'm gonna do the left side. As you can see, the L here, right there, the L means this is the left side. So, yeah, it looks okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start taking the trims first. Let me bring this window down, make it easy. All right, and what you want to do is use a tool like this to go in the trim. Okay, find a way to stick it in. Cause this is the first one you want to take out so you start from the top then you got two Phillips one here and one there also is this one here needs to be take out And this guy needs to take out. Now we're going to the panel. And what I do with the panel 
I stick this one in so I try to wear their location ours and go slowly you don't want to break this guys find the location the Philip take this one out this one out and then another one I take the switch out not necessary to do so And I got this. Pick it up. Okay, so this one came like that. It's okay. Now I got the connection here. see what type of connection I got I want to see where is my connector clip Alright, so you gotta press You gotta press this guy And that guy at the same time Alright guys, basically you can do this like this too, you can leave it there, where this come from, All we gotta do is to go inside here and lose this bolt here. But I'm gonna have to take this uh, this thing out, unfortunately, because
one have to take this one out so we can work and this is the the clip to take it out and you don't want to release it there we go all right guys so now I can work easy taking the whole panel out we're missing one There we go. That's the one we're missing. Goes here. All right. All right. So now we're taking this switch out, it's part of the motor, take this guy out, you can take a char blade and cut, you don't need that much space. But you need that's more space to take the remember you need to take this 10 millimeter out another one missing so we got another one there okay so use this guy I don't know which one I use this one so it's got to be a T30, this is the bigger one, Torx Teddy. nice of this uh, <laughs> bolts they got plastic or they look very nice so those out windows gotta be up now What's wrong with this thing guys? I 
on line. Could be that difficult. Say connector, guys. Plug in. Man, what's wrong with that thing? Okay, let me see if I pressed. What a nightmare to hook up this connector. It's a hook here. Okay, I see. So you got to push it back so it can go in. Wow. Really? Wow. Something we learn here with that connector. Okay, at least we don't break it. Now, I need the window up. Okay, window is up. Keys out. This is the door actuator, guys. So, no one. White. Okay, white. And this one here. This here, guys. You gotta go inside here and open the clips in this one. It says tool they use. Press here and open this guy. So it's no way to mismatch this because this one goes here and click it there. And another one here 
I click it there so it's no way to mismatch this thing alright now this one the trick about this guy is that you gotta pass it through that bracket that bracket and you gotta put this guy first than anything I to put this guy the level to open the, the door Oh God, there you go, there you go, it's in, okay, it's in, okay, it's in, now, what? Okay, before you tighten this up, you gotta connect behind here, you see? Behind there, this level thing here. It goes in there, all right? So, that's what I was doing before you tighten this system up. Now, um, Hold on a second guys. Okay, this goes through here. And this go here. Here. See if I find the sell it. Oh, this one got the ring. The other one don't have the ring. <sighs> Hate to do this with dirty hands. Now I got dirty hands. Voy allá.
Okay. I don't see any. No one missing there. Hopefully that module goes through here. I don't want to deal with that connector again. But I know how it works now, so probably I gotta deal with it. So, first, it's two stage connector. So, first, you remove the first stage, which is this guy. And after that, the connector comes apart. All right. So we gotta go like that. Nice, okay. So, this guy goes This don't came out. This one is the one that goes like that. So slowly mash. Oh boy, we missed something guys, this little bolt, that's not nice, see if I can get it out, again I don't want to break this, I can squeeze this bolt here.
All right. Alright guys, so where's my uh, this guy, the connector, it was like this. And then it locks like that. Just like that. This one goes first here. This cover was like this. And then for the try, And that's it, guys. This is done. Thank you for watching.